if it ain't first place, I don't want it. <laughs> this can't be the best it gets. Quick to hush a hater or a pessimist. Voices in my head, but I won't let them win. It's my time and it's definite. I will never miss. Put your rolly in your pocket, the jack is a pocket watch and blow arm robbers to NASA. I walk with a rocket launcher. I awkwardly talk to God. What's going on, YouTube? Listen, no long intros today. We got a track that we need to break down, that we need to dive into, right? This is something that took hip hop by storm at the time. It caused so much controversy. It turned so many heads. Everybody was talking about Kendrick Lamar. Did he take shots? Who is he dissing? Why is he doing this in this way? And we're gonna find out why right now. This right here is Kendrick Lamar, Control. But before getting further, listen, if you like that song in the intro, brand new track with King Crooked. That's right, a West Coast legend, and King Crooked is out right now on my channel. You wanna support me, support channel directly, I'll put the links to that below. But anyways, Kendrick, we know what we're here for. Step up to the plate, let's see what you got. Miscellaneous minds, I'm never explaining the minds I'm never going for my alias, aliens to respond, peddling sin Laneous minds, aliens to respond. I love how he just punches in already with the multi syllables, and he really does have an alien mind. Kendrick Lamar, let's see where he goes, baby. Never explaining the minds, devil is grand for my alias, aliens to respond, peddling sin, thinking maybe when you get old, you realize I'm not gonna fall. Right, even devilish grin. That's the beginning. Aliens to respond. And then he comes back with the beginning rhymes on peddling sin. And then even when you get old, you realize, like, just the way that he enunciates that can fit in with the stretching out of the minds. The ah, stretching it out to just fit in those slant rhymes, man. Smooth. Aliens, aliens to respond. Peddling sin. Thinking maybe when you get old, you realize I'm not going to fold or demise. I don't smoke crack, motherfucker. I sell it. Bitch, everything I rap is a quarter piece to your metal. Shout out to the Eminem line, you know. I don't sell crack, motherfucker, I smoke it. He flipped it in that one. I don't smoke crack, motherfucker, I sell it. And in this case, it's a smooth double. Like, he's selling crack through his music and what he's giving us on this dopeness. Bitch, everything I rap is a quarter piece to your melon. So if you have a relapse, just relax and pop in my disc. Don't you ah. pop me the fuck? Motherfucker, I sell it. Ba -da 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 -da. See that cadence? Like, he starts, he's yelling up here. And I just love, again, sort of juxtaposition. Like, kind of get aggressive and attack on one line. And then immediately follow it up with, like, just a dramatic sort of drop-down tone. And just Kendrick Lamar's style of delivery and his constant tonal changes and so much personality that he injects into his delivery on tracks. And right here, you got more wordplay. Quarter piece to your melon, right? Like, you got a, you got a Michael Vick, baby. You got a seven-gram quarter piece that you're sniffing, taking it to the melon versus, like, a quarter piece, right? 25 cal, taking that to your melon as well. Quarter piece to your melon, so if you have a relapse, just relax and pop in my disc. Don't you pop me the fucking pill, I'ma pop you, then give you this. Yeah. Flex to drop a bomb. Right, and then pop you playing off of the piece to your melon so he's got that that he's flipping and then obviously flipping it into like popping pills and taking those and then it ties back in with the dopeness and the crack that he's selling like this is what great mcs do like they give you a bar or a punchline and then they continue to stack those schemes and find different ways to revert back to it and just to reference it throughout and layer those meanings and doubles i love the coarser style of delivery here and then well We'll, we'll let it keep running, but what he's doing here with this switch up and this drop in is when he comes in, this is a corrupt type of voice and cadence, and he shouts out corrupt. Remember corrupt? Eminem till I collapse? Eminem has him in his top list. We talked about it in the interview with Cassius, and Cassius being influenced by corrupt and showing corrupt love, and Kendrick dropping in, right? Get busy, and Kendrick Lamar is going to pay homage to that when he gets to the lines, King of New York. Muslim eating pork later on just coming through but this flow switch and this cadence is very certain it's kind of like when I just dropped in to my my time track with King Crooked and I use kind of his cadence and his flow to pay homage to him on his Shady Cypher 2.0 anyways let's keep going tail flex to drop a bomb on this shit so many bombs win the alarm like Vietnam on this shit so many bombs make Farrakhan think that's a dime in this bitch when see I love the flips right because Vietnam we bombed the shit out of Vietnam we dropped just so many tons of bombs on Vietnam. Like, we really try to just lay waste to it. And obviously, we know that that didn't work out in the end. And then he's got an interesting flip with Farrakhan and Saddam. Just making that rhyme scheme tie in. But also, Louis Farrakhan. 
right? The civil rights leader. So he met with Saddam Hussein at one point in time. So what he's tying in with there is obviously Saddam used to bomb his own people and drop chemical weapons on his own people, right? So Farrakhan would even appreciate that, knowing Saddam and knowing the amount of bombs that Kendrick is bringing and dropping on this track and the eyes that he's going to turn. Vietnam like Vietnam on his shit. So many bombs make Farrakhan think that's a dime in his bitch. One at a time, I line him up and bomb on his mom when she watching the kids. So I'm in a destruction mode if the gold exists. I'm in Poland like the Pope. I'm a Muslim on poke. I'm, at I'm in Poland like the Pope. And the way that he says that almost sounds like impotent, right? Because the Pope is supposed to be celibate, right? He's not giving out any fuck. So impotency versus being important like the religious figure and holy leader of the Pope. And again, like it's just, it's the really almost over enunciation, the way that he's like venomously just spitting these lines out in the corrupt style of just like really just nasty, just spitting. Bidding, like hitting those syllables at full speed. Mode if the gold exist, I'm in pole like gold exist. And then you hear that T, you hear him hold that soft T sound, like that T sound just hits, like every single consonant is just heavily enunciated with the style of delivery that he's doing right when now. When she watching the kids, I'm in a destruction mode if the gold exists. I'm in pole like the Pope, I'm a Muslim on poke. There I'm it like is. A spring. I'm the king of New York, Woo! king of the coast. One hand, I juggle them both. The juggernauts all in your juggler, you take me for jokes. Live in the basement. Just the flips on coming for your jugular, being a juggernaut, juggling it all and then saying he's the king of new york first and we talk about the corrupt lines that he's shouting out but then flipping that because muslims don't eat pork so he's doing whatever the fuck he wants on the track right and it's very interesting that a west coast rapper much like corrupt is saying they're the king of new york think about the classic days of the east coast west coast beef and he's got the machiavelli shout out we all know Pac, machiavelli the roots in that machiavelli actually faked his own death Pac shouts out Machiavelli, named his album after Machiavelli and took on that persona. And Kendrick has talked about kind of being the reincarnation of Pac. And Pac came to him in a dream and told him, you know, basically carry the torch on, continue the music and continue the message. So much in the same way Pac used to come to NYC and had all the issues and stirred up shit in NYC. What's Kendrick doing? Stirring it up on the East Coast, but he's shouting out, hey, I got the East Coast lock, I got the West Coast lock. This is the definition of talking your shit right now. And I juggle them both. The juggernauts all in your juggler. You take me for jokes. Live in the basement. Church pews and funeral faces. Cardio bracelets. For my women friends, I'm in Vegas. Who the fuck y'all thought it's supposed to be? And Phil Jackson came back. Still no coaching me. I'm Ooh. uncoachable. I'm unsociable. The greatest basketball coach of all time. Come on, man. Coach MJ. Man, Coach Shaq. And Kobe, Phil Jackson. Kendrick saying, this man coach goats. This man stacked rings. Still couldn't coach me. Let's go. And Phil Jackson came back. Still no coaching me. I'm uncoachable. I'm un Even that. Still no coaching me. Just the, like, you don't really, I haven't heard that style from Kendrick. He's just really showing you the type of flow and who he's adopting and paying homage to right here. Big. And Phil Jackson came back, still no coaching me. I'm uncoachable, I'm unsociable. Mm. Fuck y'all clubs, fuck y'all bitches. Show Instagram, get gobble these nuts. Woo! Gobble a dick up to your head. And I take it like, you know. You yes men, these little clubs and groups that you form versus like literally like going out to the clubs. I'm not making music for the clubs, right? I'm making fucking art around fuck here. Fuck your clubs, fuck your pictures. Show Instagram, get gobble these nuts. Gobble a dick up to your hiccup. My big homie corrupt. This the same flow that put the rap game on the crutch. Yes, 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 yes. I seen it. Big homie corrupt. This is the same flow. So now we're showing you whose flow it is. It's from corrupt. Put the game in a crutch, right? This game needs help. Needs a handicap right now for what's going down. The rap game on the crutch. Yes, 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 yes. I see niggas transform like villain Decepticons. Woo! Wally's probably turn these niggas to fucking Lindsay Lohan. A bunch of rich ass white girls looking for parties playing with. Right, Molly's, Miley's, and even the lyric video has got that flip, right? Which ties in with the rich ass white girls, Lindsay Lohan. But I wanted to shout out the Transform of like Decepticons bars. Come on, anytime you bring in a Decepticon and Transformers bar, let's go. Optimus Kendrick spitting at his prime right now. Niggas to fucking Lindsay Lohan. A bunch of rich ass white girls looking for parties, playing with Barbies, wreck the push before you give them the car key. Judge me to the Lindsay Lohan had the epic wrecking the rental Porsche. So Kendrick's saying they wrecked it before you even gave the car key because their life's a wreck. They're spoiled, right? Playing off of the rich white girls. I was looking for parties, playing with Barbies, wreck the Porsche before you give them the car key. Judge me to the monarchy. Blessings to Paul McCartney. You call me a black beetle. I'm either that or a Marty. Oh. 
He's he's one of two legends, right? He's a legend like Paul McCartney and the Beatles, or he's a legend like the late great Bob Marley. Come on. Smoke crack, motherfucker, I sell it. I'm dressed in all black. This is not for the fan of Elvis. I'm aiming straight for your pelvis. You can't stomach me. You plan on stumping me. Love that. Not for the fan of Elvis, right? This is not for rock and roll fans. This is true hip hop heads, but also Elvis, and you know people saying Elvis stole rock and roll, took that from black culture. Shaking the pelvis, moving the pelvis, right? The typical Elvis pelvis moves and that grind. Kendrick Lamar flipping that into aiming for your pelvis. I'm on that raw shit right now, right? This is rise up type of music. This is not for the fan of Elvis. I'm aiming straight for your pelvis. You can't stomach me. You plan on stumping me. Bitch, I've been jumping before you put a gun on me. Bitch, I put one on yours. I'm shining kind of reach. James Bonnet with none of you niggas climbing 100 mil in front of me. And Sean Connery, James Bond. He played James Bond, but I'm not bonding. I'm not getting along with you. But also... Sean Connery, that's an important line in Flip. This is Kendrick with his layers and levels. He knows Sean Connery was asked to play Bond again, but he fell out with the Bond series and didn't play him again. Some Sean Connery, James Bond, and with none of you niggas climbing 100 mil in front of me. And I'm gonna get it even if you're in the way. And if you're in it, better run for peace sake. I'm gonna get it even if you're in the way. I just love the way he, like, breaks apart that flow right there dot 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 like very staccato style delivery while holding out the syllables and getting a little bit melodic there just dope flow control here from Kendrick get it even if you're in the way and if you're in it better run for peace sake I heard the barber shots being great debates all the time about who's the best MC Kendrick Jigger and Nas Ugh. Eminem Andre 3000 the rest of y'all New niggas, just new niggas. Don't get involved. Woo! I love that line. New, just don't get involved. Corday had a great response to this in Kendrick's lines. But for me, look at Kendrick's list right now, right? You want to talk about it? Let's talk about Kendrick. He's up there. Let's talk about Jigga. Let's talk about Jay-Z. Let's talk about Nas, Eminem, Andre Three Stacks. That's a hell of a top MC's list right there. Notice M is right there. People saying that, you know, M is a culture vulture. Eminem doesn't belong in the house of hip-hop. He doesn't deserve to be top five. Here's one of the greatest MCs of all time in Kendrick Lamar shouting out Eminem, giving him his flowers, and then listing off some of the greats. GT thousand, the rest of ya. And we all know the barbershops, baby. Come on. New niggas, just new niggas. Don't get involved. And I ain't rocking no more designer shit. White tees and Nike Cortez. This red Corvette synonymous. Those are some of the hardest lines to me as a more like conscious artist, right? And I talk about the glorification of materialism within a mainstream. Kendrick Lamar going, I'm not, I'm not going to flash this. For me, it's about the motherfucking art. I'm going to stay true to myself. Simple white C's, right? The red Corvette, like that's a way of like flashing. But at the same time, I'm going to keep it anonymous, right? I know my success and I'm going to let that speak for itself. No more designer shit. White tees and Nike Cortez. This red Corvette synonymous. I'm usually homeboys with the same niggas I'm rhyming with. But this is hip hop and them niggas should know what time it is. Nah. That goes for Jermaine Cole, Big Crit Wale. Push your team, Meek Mills, ASAP Rocky, Drake, Big Sean, J Electron, Tyler Mac Miller. I got love for you all, but I'm trying to murder you niggas. Trying to make sure your core fans never heard of you Ooh. niggas. Wanna hear not one more now, no verb from you niggas. What is competition? I'm trying to raise the bar. Wow. It's right here, right? He starts off, he lists off the greats, and then he lists off other artists that are really Especially at this time rising, right? The Pusha T's, the Meek Mills, the ASAP Rocky, man. Drake. I love how he does like an Eminem. Like you list off all these different names and fitting it still into the rhyme. Big Sean, J Electron, Tyler Mac Miller. And what's funny is that on this track, he's on it with Big Sean and also with J Electronica too. Like a lot of these dudes he's been on tracks with. But he sets this up. The key is like when this dropped, everybody went wild. Right? People drop responses. Everybody was asking us in interviews. Like some people were mad. Some people were pissed off. Other people were like, hey, thanks for the compliment. He mentioned me in the track. But a lot of people misinterpreted this as like a straight up diss of these artists. And Kendrick leaves you these breadcrumbs. He's letting you know this is hip hop, right? Hip hop is about competition. Rap is a contact sport. Okay, I think that's where some fans and some people get it like misconstrued and misfigured. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be the best MC because that's what we're trained to be. Right, you get on a track, you're trying to outwrap the other dudes that are on the track with you. That's the spirit of competition, and that's how we get better, right? Survival of the fittest. You keep climbing, you keep rising. Even when you lose and you get washed, you learn from those mistakes and you get better. That's all what makes for good elite MCs and hip hop, man. You gotta celebrate that. That's why he sets it up with the hip hop. It's hip hop. You know what time it is. This is hip hop. Push your TV. And I gotta shout out Wale from. PG County, 
in the building. Wale, one of the ones to do it from the hometown, baby. It Come was ASAP Rocky, Drake, Big Sean, J. Electron, Tyler McMiller. I got love for you all, but I'm trying to murder you niggas. Trying to make sure your core fans never heard yeah. of you niggas. They don't want to hear not one more now no verb from you niggas. That's just Kendrick using his art. I'm trying to murder you. Does he mean it literally? No, that's why he's doing it on wax. He's trying to kill you on the track, which any good rapper is going to try to do. They get on a track with you, that's it, man. It's about pushing yourself to the peak, to the pinnacle, as far and as hard as you can go in. I'm trying to raise the bar high. It's competition. I'm trying to raise the bar high. Who's trying to jump and get it? You're a better off trying to skydive at the right. exit window with five G5s with five grand with your granddad as the pilot. He drunk as fuck trying to land with a handful of arthritis and popping prosthetic leg bumping. Trying to land with a handful of arthritis, popping prosthetic leg, just the PPP, the alliteration and the internal rhyme schemes. But you're with your drunk ass grandfather, right? Trying to skydive. Well, he's trying to land this shit. He's got arthritis. He doesn't even have strong hands to guide this fucking plane. He's got fake legs as well. You got no chance is what he's saying. It's such an extended hyperbole of a metaphor that he's using but i love the way that he just paints his picture man the pilot he drunk as fuck trying to land with a handful of arthritis and popping prosthetic leg bumping pock in the cockpit so the shit mm. that pops in his head is an option of violence someone heard the steward and said that him showing love to pock again shouting out pock parachute is a latex condom hooked to a dread <sighs> parachute is a latex condom hooked to a dread picture that right there that's a comic book and a half, man. You got no chance. To a dread. Oh. I mean, this for me is MCing at its finest. This is taking it to wax and just throwing down a challenge. Throwing down a gauntlet. And showing love and paying homage. But at the same time, I mean, Kendrick even came out and talked about this. Like, I just wanted to show that admits all these talented dudes, I'm the hungriest of them all. I'm so fucking hungry for this. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that friendly type of competition in hip-hop, but still going in, still leaving it all, putting your heart and soul into your art and into your music and the foundations that he stands for and the rugged style of delivery. Every single word, man. You just felt the energy. You felt it just leaking out of Kendrick's pores, man. And I love, again, like the internal setups for the multi-syllable schemes, the flows we talked about, the drop-ins, the wordplay, the personality. This just ticks all the boxes for me. And on top of that, so smart of Kendrick because this got so much attention. and This got everybody talking. And really great tracks do that. Right? They create that type of buzz, that excitement, that controversy that gets everybody talking about it, sharing it, responding to it, doing things. That's great hip hop right there. Kendrick Lamar, you are Knoxville certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. This is for some reason you're here at the end. Obviously, enjoy the content. Do me a huge favor, support channel directly. Subscribe notifications on. Really, really does go a long way. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive. This is Wally Knoxville. You know, I'll catch you again.